Hello. So, <clears throat> for this week, what I wanted to do was show you how I went about building this wall. Now, I had built about half of it already before I started recording, so um, it'll just be this first section here to the right. But yeah, so it's not quite going to be as exciting as last week's video. Uh, but my idea is to have a video every week just to kind of keep this thing going. Um, first it'll concentrate more on Valheim and then eventually I'll go on to other video games and stuff and whatever. My whole idea for this channel is to just do video games and that. So my idea is also to close this off here. So um, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so... Unfortunately, when I recorded this, there was uh, some music playing in the background, so I don't want to deal with any of the copyright claims or anything like that, so we're just going to go with no sound. Oh, accidentally grabbed my trophy there. <laughs> Put that back, and then we'll get into it. So, in the interest of keeping this video a little bit shorter, originally it was over a half an hour, I've sped this up to uh, three times speed. So if you need to see any details or anything like that, you can always slow things down. YouTube's pretty good for that. Um, and to be honest, most of the time is taken up by me trying to jump up onto my wall anyways. So um, so these large brick pieces are um, the most cost efficient when you're building anything large out of stone. You want to use these as much as you possibly can. So here I'm trying to figure out how to build uh, a bend in the wall while still keeping everything nice and straight. So I think I figured it out pretty good. You just build one on the outside to the corner and then do the rest of them in from there. And then your outside's nice and seamless and you can keep on building straight. Um, it's nice to have a cart nearby with all your materials in it because, you know, it's just better than running back inside and to to gather more stone. This does take up a lot of stone, so make sure you're stone farming first. So I'm going to add another bend here, and originally I was just uh, trying to line things up and take a look of where things are going to go and end up. Um, and I wanted it to kind of follow the house anyway, so. Now I always end up doing the uh, decorations on the outside of the wall as I go along. It just makes it a lot easier, and it always looks nice when you take a look at it. Um, now here, I was trying to figure out how to do it with the bend, so I've sped this up to five times just because there's a lot of, you know, messing around and, and fiddling around with everything. So I basically just wanted to uh, try and keep the, the decorations pretty much the same throughout, so trying to figure it out. I eventually just kind of gave up, continued on with my wall, and then came back to it later. So here I'm going to want to put a gate. So the gates and all the parts are basically, you know, the same size as one of these large walls. So you just put a large wall to give you your spacing, do anything with the terrain you need to carry on, and uh, and then just get rid of those walls. And then now you have a nice gap that you can use as a gate. Nice little path in. Make things look all profesh. Now, a lot of it is just putting these big stone pieces down. It makes it kind of tedious to go through a whole wall like that, but. Um, I just love building in this game, and it just, I don't know, I could do this for hours, for days, and just build and build and build. The biggest thing is just getting all the materials you need, because it does take up a lot of stone. I had over 20 stacks, 30 stacks of this stone, and it's still not complete. So here I decided that the wall was starting to get a little tall, so I was going to need something to get up onto it. Because it's no use trying to jump constantly all the time trying to get up there. And you don't need a whole bunch of um, 
stonemason um, like crafting stations you can just walk one over as you go and then that way you don't need like 50 of them all the way along your wall now if you want to repair your wall you're going to need one nearby so i always try to keep the materials oh here there was some uh, enemies that came to attack my uh, my place while i was doing this so we'll just come back i ended up repairing and taking a good nap and then we're good to go for building again Like I said, decorations as you go. I like to mark off my my uh, gates with taller pillars so that it just, even from above, you can tell there's a gate there. Yeah, and I ended up giving up on the, uh, the taller pillars here. Just around the bend, it just doesn't seem to want to fit for me, so that'll do. So now my whole idea is to be able to walk across the wall and not fall off. That's why I have the channel on the inside. Um, <clears throat> and then also, you know, I like to imagine like hordes of enemies coming, trying to kill me and trying to take out my stuff. So that's why I have those pillars is so that it's a good spot to hide. So mobility is also key, which is why I have all these stairs and everything everywhere. Because I don't want to jump onto a new level constantly. I can just climb the stairs and not have to worry about it right so here's where i build my stairs up you want them to be on the inside of your wall very obviously <laughs> if you put them on the outside anybody can get on your wall and that's not a good idea so it does take up a lot of stone those stairs take up eight per piece the floor pieces take up six same as the large ones which doesn't seem to make any sense for me so but it is what it is it's just yeah carrying on so same thing I want to keep going with uh, having like little barriers and stuff so you don't fall down or anything even when you're going downstairs and that so and then I kind of make it decorative as I go now this raising the ground it takes up stone as well so I try to avoid it if I can um, sometimes you just can't avoid it but uh, now I wanted the wall to go with the terrain, so here I'm trying to figure out how to make sure to make it go down and still stay in the same um, block space. It's just reloading, loading stone. So <clears throat> I ended up just digging down. Oh, okay, so here's where the music comes back in. Um, I realized I was using copyrighted music, so. So the great thing about this is you have a bunch of tools at your disposal. You got the hoe, you got the pickaxe and everything. So you can pickaxe down lower so you get the angle that you need to look at things. Um, you can remove earth, put earth back in, whatever you need to do, right? So it makes the, the building so unique in this game is that you can literally shape the land how you need it. You know, just flatten it out wherever you need and that kind of thing and you're good to go. I like to keep grass around. It makes it pretty. So I'm making a space here for a tower that I want to build. So it'll be like the other tower in the corner there that you can barely see. Um, so basically I, <clears throat> I go off and take a look at how I've built these other towers and where everything's lined up. Basically like how it's lined up with the wall and everything so that I can um, keep everything pretty straight. So I wanted it to be on the same level, but it didn't look it wasn't cooperating with me, so I ended up just eyeballing it. If you hold shift, you can free um, free place objects so that they aren't they don't snap to anything. So I just kind of free placed that, eyeballed it, and then just went around with my tower. 
<clears throat> everything kind of uh, locks into place. You just go one rotation click. And uh, yeah, that's that. So you just build the outside of it. And then, uh, uh, see things weren't lining up, so I was trying to figure out where I went wrong. So it's, it's easier from the inside, you can just line it right up with the one beneath it. Just go around, slowly build up, however you, however high you want to go. I think you can only go so high, even with stone, uh, but it's fairly good. And then stone acts as ground, so it'll be grounded um, when you go to place wooden objects on top. Now the crisscross in the middle is so we don't have to fill the whole thing with stone. That would just be ridiculous. That's a lot of stone. So we crisscross so we have something to anchor to when we go to put in our floor. Thought I heard something. <laughs> I noticed something was kind of out, so we got a few stones that aren't really in the right spot. What's great is if you get rid of anything, as long as it's not damaged, you get all the materials back. So you can basically destroy the whole thing and you'll still get all your materials and rebuild it if you want or use it somewhere else or whatever. Most of this stone was actually from uh, another stone building that I had, so. Music change, time to go take a nap. It's actually very difficult to build at night because you can't see anything and you can't hold a uh, torch at the same time as your hammer, so I always sleep through the night. Build during the day, it's just easier. So now we're going to place our floors. Basically, you just go around the outside. Um, no need to put it where the crisscross is. There's a little gap there, but it's really negligible. You won't slip through or it doesn't even change your stepping or anything. And then you can use the inside crisscross to just place four more s floors and finish it up. And then you get a nice little uh, little X in the middle of your tower, which I find kind of aesthetically split. X That's a tough word. Aesthetically pleasing. There we go. I got a tower. Carry on with the wall. Anything else is on that tower is basically aesthetics, making it look good. Uh, a couple of practical things like stairs. I always walk up and down that channel just to make sure that nothing's getting in my way. Now we go every other, give it that nice castle aesthetic. There we go, that's a tower. So I'm going to carry on with the wall. Just wanted to repair my uh, little cart there. It's getting kind of low in the rain. So I'm basically going around just kind of cleaning up the edges and stuff to make it look prettier. Um, I don't really like when I can see the edges of the stones along the bottom. Uh, sometimes it's unavoidable, but for the most part you can kind of cover it up with dirt or whatever to make it look like it's an actually built wall. So now I kind of want to do the same thing as I did uh, when placing the tower. So I want to kind of go in the middle of things, just holding shift to um, to uh, free free place things. Um, and it's basically just in reverse. So you're going wall out instead of tower out. Uh, running out of stone already. 
Well, that's what I need. I need a wood to make a workbench, because you can't work the earth without a workbench, apparently. So yeah, that'll pretty much do it for the wall. Here's my feeble attempt at climbing up. Eventually said screw it and used my nice stairs. <laughs> nice little entryway. Stairs fit nice and center now because of the... Uh, the little half walls that are making up the tower itself. Now that one wouldn't snap for some reason, so you can just build around it until you get the snap that you need. And then destroy everything that you built. That'll pretty much cover it. So that's uh, that's my wall. I think it makes everything look a little a little bit better so we'll do a little tour of the wall itself we'll go at regular speed here so we can take a look at everything ninja jump up we got our little tail end of the wall there and our tower here some more wall closes everything nice little forest there but you can easily use your bow and stuff through through all that stuff. The walls are low enough that your arrows aren't going to get trapped or anything, so you're safe behind your wall. Use your arrows. Realized I didn't want any wood in here. Now this portion coming up is a gate that I fixed. And uh, I fixed it earlier. And this... I like the way this looks. It looks really nice. It's very clean. Um, and you can walk across it, which is which is handy when you're running around the wall, around the perimeter. So, if you noticed earlier, I was falling through and taking damage. This tower, I'm eventually going to put windows and stuff in it, and that so it's actually like an actual archer tower, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. There you have it. That's the the entirety of this wall. Pretty simple build. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it.